Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Let us discuss how to convert isometric view into orthographic view. Isometric view means it is a 3D view, three dimensional diagram. We are converting this 3D view into 2D view, that is two dimensional diagram. So two dimensional diagram means orthographic view. So in orthographic view, we are taking front view. In shortcut form, I am writing top view and side view. So these three views we are calling orthographic view. Let us see how to do the orthographic view of the 3D diagram. The given 3D diagram is for this asymmetric view, let us take the given question. Draw the front view, top view and side view of a given isometric view. In this given diagram, units are not given. That's why take all units are in mm. It is 40 and it is 65. It is 40. It is 15. It is 10. 30. 20. 15. The dimension size is very less, very small in the given diagram. That's why I have rewrite again all dimensions. Consider all dimensions in mm. For doing the orthographic view, that is front view, top view and side view. Shortcut form I am writing FE. Here top view, this is side view. For doing these views, in engineering drawing we are following two methods. One is first angle method. The second one is third angle method. We can follow either this method or this method. Okay. In the given question, the method name has not given. So in that case, we can follow this method, okay, first angle method. So in next class, I will explain what is first angle method, what is third angle method. So in this class, just remember first angle method. First, we have to do the front view of the given object. And then below the front view, we have to take the top view. Okay, so here side of this front view, we have to do the side view. So remember these things in the first angle method. So here first do the front view of this object. Front view of this object means wherever arrow is coming, it is a front view. Okay, here I have written FV. Okay, sometimes they are giving the arrow. Wherever arrow is there, it is a front view of the object. Let us do front view here. Roughly, I am doing initially front view, top view here, and a side view in this portion. We will do all the three views roughly by seeing this asymmetric view. First, take the front view. Here, which is a front view means wherever arrow is given, it is a front view. So in this case, it is the front view. This arrow will show the front view of this diagram. So we'll do the front view in this area. Let us take the front view. We will see this L shape of width 65. First do the 65 width and height of the L shape is 40. Mark the 40 mm height or 4 cm. This height, it has not given. You check whether uh, which side it has given. 15 mm has given at one side and throughout the length it is 15 mm mark 1.5 centimeter or 15 here and then we can see the l shape here the thickness is 15 mm okay mark that 15 mm after that complete the l shape just do the horizontal line here we can see that horizontal line and then vertical line do the vertical line so we got the l shape here after that in front we can see this box also the box dimensions are height is 20 and width is 30. Let us do the box here. So it is 30 from this point, width is and the height is 20. Let us do the box here. So in the front view, we can see this box with L shape. After this front view, we will do the top view here. For doing the top view, just do one portion. Here, take one reference line after some gap. From the front view, do the projector lines from main lines. Projector line means it should be in light color with pencil. Extend these lines up to some length. So, for top view, see from top, you will get this box. This width is 65 and this height is 40 mm. So, 65 already we have marked between the projector lines. So this width is 65 and the next side is 40. Make the box. This side is 65. The top view we can see this 15 mm by 40 mm box. So already 15 mm projector line is there of 40 mm height. So this box and after that this small box 30 mm width and 10 mm thickness at the middle of the 40 mm. Here do one line at the middle. So at the, after that take the thickness it is 10 mm so here take 5 mm above the middle line and 5 mm below the middle line so the total is 10 mm that is 1 centimeter here the width is 30 mm 
the thickness is 10 mm so this is the top view so this is the reference line from front view we took the projector lines we did the final top view now after that we will do the side view of this diagram side view means here whatever front view is there take the another side it is the side view of the diagram here side view is coming our left side so left side side view we have to do in the right side of the diagram this is the left side but we have to do in the right side okay right side of this diagram for doing it just do the one reference line it is a vertical line it is 90 degrees to the horizontal line so in this portion we will do the side view okay so do the projector lines from all the main lines from the front view as well as in the from the top view so up to that reference line do the projector lines from the all main lines here take the lines 45 degrees lines up to the reference line okay do the parallel 45 degrees lines at all these points now here instead of taking 45 we can by using compass also we can do the arcs also take this radius do an arc the torque will come up to this point for the next point take this radius take the same center do an arc the torque will come at this point so similarly take this radius for next point and do an arc and like that we can take arcs also instead of 45 degrees line at all these points do the vertical lines projector lines always remember projector line should be in light color compared to the main diagram here we took all projector lines from front view and top view now take the side view okay this is the side view in the side view we can see this box of width 40 height is 15 mm okay already we took 40 mm okay from the projector line take this 40 here and a 15 mm box already projector line is up to 15 mm just make a box within these lines after that we can see this height also how much height 40 mm okay from this side so just take that 40 and make the box okay so in the front view we can see this small box also this height is 20 mm width is 10 mm okay at the middle already we took 10 mm projector lines the height is 20 mm okay make the box this is the side view with this box and the small box we can see in the side view let us do these three views in the sheet by using instruments initially do horizontal reference line after that do the vertical line this vertical line is perpendicular to the horizontal line do the front view so take the any height from the horizontal line 65 mm so for taking the parallel lines i am using the roller scale here by using drafter it is easy to do the horizontal parallel lines take 65 mm here do a torque line after that take 15 mm height and this side is 40 mm take this is the reference line vertical line take 40 mm here take this side 15 this side 15 take some length here on it mark 1.5 centimeter that is 15 mm and here also take 15 mm do some length on it mark 1.5 centimeter do one vertical line of some length from this point do the horizontal line up to some intersection point for this L shape take 20 mm by 30 mm box mark here width that is 30 mm and height is 20 mm take this is a reference line at this point take some length on it mark 20 mm and make the box take this is the reference line complete the box so this is the front view just write down here front view it is not necessary to write front view just for getting clarity i am writing front view. after front view below the reference line after some gap do the top view 
So here take the projectile lines up to some length. Do the projectile lines. Projectile lines should be in light color compared to the main diagram. Here we will do the top view. For top view take this dimension is 65 by 40. Make one box. So 65 already we took this length between projectile lines. No need to measure here. And this height is 40. Make this box. So after this box, here we take this width, how much it is 15 mm. So already projectile line is there at 15 mm, just make it dark. After this, take the middle box, 30 by 10 mm. At the middle of the box, take middle line. So in 40 middle is coming at 20. At 20 do one line, just middle line it is. So at middle line, it is 10 mm is take 5 mm above the middle line. Width is 30. Already we took the projectile line on projectile line. Take 5 mm, this side 5 mm. So make this box. So this is the top view. Okay. So here for side view, do the reference line already we did. Do the projectile lines from the main diagram in the front view. So from this also do the projectile lines up to the reference line. So at these points take the 45 degrees lines by using the protractor at this point take 45 degrees point join this point to this point up to this line for getting the 45 degrees line at all these points do the 45 degrees lines so we will get the parallel line for getting parallel line I am using roller scale so at all the points we will get the 45 degrees lines by using protractor it is easy to do the lines so at the middle point also do the projector line so here at all these points extend the vertical lines vertical projector lines this projector line should be in light color. Here we will do the side view. In side view, we can see this box 40 by 40. Okay, this height is 40. We will do the box 40 by 40. Join these points. After that, in the side view, we can see this height also 15 mm. We took this height from the projector line 15 mm. So make it dark. So we can see this box up to 40. And also in the front view, we can see this box. Thickness is 10 mm. Okay, at the middle. So 10 mm thickness we can take here. And height is 30 mm from front view. We can make this box 30 mm by 10 mm. We got this box from the front view and top view projector lines. So this is the side view. Here mark all the given dimension. The width is 65. So mark in the front view. Here also width is 65. No need to mark. Only one side you have to mark 65 mm. In all the three views. Take this is 15 mm. Height is. Okay this height. And mark the next height. That is 20 mm. Above 15 mm. Here also it is 20 mm. Only mark only one side. No need to mark here. And in the top view we can see this 40 here. So this is 10 mm. You can mark the dimension here or here. Only one dimension you have to mark. Okay this height is 40 mm. You can mark here or here. So you have to distribute all the dimensions. Some dimensions in front view. Some dimensions in top view. Some dimensions in side view. So here dimensional line is parallel to the main line. 
this diagram should be any gap from the reference line horizontal reference line vertical reference line this line should be in dark color and main lines of the diagram should be in dark color and projector line should be in light color and this inclined projector line should be light color these are making 45 degrees and other lines also parallel to the 45 degrees line these are the front view top view and side view of the given diagram in some cases they will ask only two views they won't ask side view at that time you have to do only front view and top view okay in case if they are asking side view at that time only you do the side view if you like this lecture please press the like button subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you for